Hi guys, it's Xenia. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have another perfume haul. I know that it feels like I do a lot of perfume hauls and that's because I kind of do. I swear I'm not like constantly buying perfumes. In fact, I haven't actually bought a perfume in like months. These are all perfumes that I just haven't shared with you guys that I've bought in the past like six, seven months and I just haven't done videos on them. And obviously I try to not make perfume haul after perfume haul. So I try to throw in a couple other videos in the midst so that it doesn't feel like I'm just doing perfume hauls. I will say that a couple of these, actually exactly two of these, were sent to me, but these brands just sent them to me. They didn't say to make a video on them or say that they're good or bad or anything like that. I'm obviously going to say how I feel about them, but I'll let you guys know which ones those are. I'll probably include them in the end of this video. So I have a total of six perfumes to share with you guys, and they do kind of range from really affordable to a little bit high end, but none of these actually go past 100. In fact, I think all of these are like $80 and under. With all that said, before we get into this video, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and turn your post notifications on and let's get started. Quick intermission before we get actually get into this video. I have a really, really, really important question to ask you guys that I've been meaning to ask for a really long time because I'm kind of getting closer to doing my perfume collection video which is probably like my most like highly requested video ever. But as you guys can see, and this isn't even all of it, like it goes all the way down here, I have a lot of perfumes. So I just don't really know in what way to go about it. So I decided to kind of ask you guys what you would prefer. So please do me a favor. And in the comments, please let me know out of what I'm about to say, which format you would want the perfume collection. So I don't think that I could possibly do a perfume collection where I include every single one of my perfumes. That would be like a three hour long video and I'm not editing a three hour long video. So I don't think I'm gonna do that way. But what I was kind of thinking was to split it up into different parts. So I do have my perfumes kind of organized. Up here I have like my designers and more high end perfumes. Then down here I have a little bit more affordable and then the last row or so is like my celebrity perfumes. So I feel like the best way for me to go about doing that video is to kind of split it into sections. So pretty much it'll be like a three part video where the first part will be like my high end designers, second part my affordable perfumes, and third part my celebrity perfumes. As of now, I think that that's the format that I'm kind of thinking. In those three parts, would you guys rather me kind of just point the camera like without me actually being in the video and I just kind of go over all of them or would you want me to do like a sit down video like how I am right now where I just kind of like sit down and go through every single one and talk a little bit about them obviously just a little bit so that was what I was thinking as far as doing the perfume collection now whether I do a sit down video or a video where I just point at the perfumes and show you I will do like kind of a full look at my perfume collection where I kind of show you guys how I store them and like how I have them organized so I will do that regardless of which format I do but again, my question is sit down video or me just not be in the video where I just kind of talk over the perfumes that I'm showing you guys. Please let me know in the comments. That'll be really, really helpful for me so that I can do that. And I'm also going to do my Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret Mist and all of that collection as well. All right, with that said, let's actually get started. I feel like most people usually leave the best for last, but I don't have that kind of patience. So I'm gonna do best first. So this is... Shiseido Zen. I recently picked this this up and I have actually heard a lot about it. The first person that I ever heard talk about this perfume was Demi Rowling and she is really kind of higher up in the perfume community. She has a really extensive perfume collection and I feel like the majority of her perfume collection is like niche, really, really like up their perfumes. So I feel like for somebody that has that high end of perfumes, when they do the affordable perfumes video, you know that they really think that they're expensive because they really smell the expensive stuff. So I kind of trust when she says that this is an affordable perfume, even though this is not my version of affordable, like how I do my affordable videos where I show you guys like $20 perfumes, this is not gonna be in that range. But I'm pretty sure that online, you could get this perfume for like 50 or $60. So as far as the packaging, this looks like a giant cube of gold. So I've seen a lot of hype surrounding this perfume for a good minute, but what's held me back from actually buying it is because one of the perfumes that this is the most compared to and that people say that this is a dupe of 
is Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel, which I have right here. And in one of my most recent videos, I told you guys that this is not worth the money and I kind of went in detail about why I don't like love this perfume. I don't hate it. I think it's a nice smell, but it's just overdone for me. It's a little too mature for me. So for that reason, knowing how I felt about this, that was really what stopped me from buying this. But while I will say that there is a slight resemblance to Coco Mademoiselle, this one is completely different to me. Like, I, almost to the point where I personally would not consider them dupes. There's a resemblance there. They're in the same type of family, generally, of fragrances. But this one is so much more tolerable and easier to wear and more of like an everyday fragrance that you could wear. <laughs> I don't know how, but the perfume was okay. I literally dropped it so hard. I'm incapable of not dropping anything. Anyways, now that I've had a miniature heart attack, I don't even remember what I was saying. Oh yeah, this one to me is a lot more tolerable and more of an everyday fragrance where I feel like I could wake up and I'm not going anywhere and I could wear this or I could be going out for a literal dinner at a fancy restaurant and I could wear this. Like it's just a really, really versatile scent. Whereas this one is more so like going out. I don't know why, but every time I smell this, I think of like something you would wear to go to like an opera or like a classic music festival. Or, I don't know. I don't know. Whereas this one is way, way, way more like chill. And the notes in this are mouthwateringly beautiful. So this one has top notes of grapefruit, pineapple, bergamot, orange, and rose. Middle notes of freesia, red apple, lotus, hyacinth, gardenia, lily of the valley, violet, and orris, and base notes of patchouli, cedar, musk, amber, incense, and pine. So kind of an extensive um, note list. This is like the epitome of spring and summer. It's super, super refreshing because of those like mouth-watering fruits that you get in the top notes. It definitely opens up very, very zesty and sit... Oh, I think I broke it. Wait, oh my god, I just broke it. I really did break it. Good job, Zayn. You are... Oh, and now I'm actually really mad. Oh my god, it's like... It just... Well, I don't really know what to do about that. Let me know if you guys have a fix for a broken nozzle. I just broke that, like, literally when I dropped it. Anyways, as far as the smell, like I was saying, I'm, like, really, I'm annoyed right now. It opens up really mouthwateringly, like, citrusy, fruity. The pineapple is so, like, it's so juicy. It has, like, this summer fruit type of almost tropical feel. The middle notes kind of give you a bit of, like, that floral aspect. But this is not nearly as floral as Coco Mademoiselle is. This one, I think, is more so about the really fresh citrus fruits. You do get a really nice base of, like, a woody, sort of musky type of base with a bit of, like, this sprinkle of patchouli. The same as this one has. But I do think the patchouli is a lot more intense in here than it is in here. And as far as the performance of this, I will say Coco Mademoiselle is like a powerhouse and this stuff lasts you years this one is not as long lasting but it is like as a perfume on its own it is long lasting it's just not as long lasting as coco mademoiselle like it'll give you about like six hours of wear time i feel like probably not now that i shattered the nozzle so let me know how to fix that i have no idea what i'm gonna do about that right now i'm actually really annoyed moving on from that fragrance because if i keep thinking about it i'm just gonna get really mad the next one is very affordable i found this at ross i think or tj maxx for like 20 dollars. this is burberry touch so i've heard a lot of hype surrounding burberry touch so i decided to finally get it because i've seen it for a really long time and i've just i've just kind of gone past it and i will say this one was a little bit of a fail for me i don't think that i'm 100% in love with it. I may try it maybe one more time, but I'm thinking as of now that I'm going to be listing this on my Mercari because it's just not really doing it for me. I'm usually a really big fan of Burberry scents and I've liked pretty much most of the ones that I've had, but this one just throws me off a little bit. In the top notes of this scent, you get red pepper and I've never seen 
red pepper in any of my perfumes. I don't think any of my perfumes have red pepper in them. So I thought that was really interesting. And then along with that, you get cassia, blackberry, cranberry, black currant, rose oil, and orange, middle notes of peony, lily, peach, tuberose, lily of the valley, jasmine, and raspberry, and base notes of cedar, oak moss, vanilla, green almond, and tonga bean. I wasn't really sure if this was going to be woody or really earthy or fruity. I was hoping for like a good mixture of all of those, but I think what stands out to me the most is the really, really heavy, earthy spiciness that this one has. And then weirdly enough, I get like a baby powder sort of scent to it, like very, very powdery in a really, really mature way. And then that top note is straight up just green. Just green leaves, like almost like the leaves of vegetables, but mixed with a really, really heavy powdery aspect. I find this really, really mature, way too earthy, way too green and way too powdery. And it's just a weird combination of all those notes. So I'm not personally a fan of this. If you are a fan of this, because I know a lot of people really, really love this, check it out on my Mercari, because I'm pretty sure I will be listing that sometime soon. The next perfume is a perfume that I actually got at Victoria's Secret, and I'm really, really excited about this, because I wanted this when it first came out, and then I kind of just forgot about it, and I was in Victoria's Secret, and I finally smelled it again after so long, and I was like, wow, this is actually really, really good, and it's kind of one of those scents that's right up my alley. It's nothing that is groundbreaking and like so strikingly unique but it's really good and it's a really good sweet girly scent that is inoffensive it's not too mature it's not too too young but it is a little young this is victoria's secrets dream angel so this is what dream angel looks like i really actually love the packaging it looks to me like a perfume that a barbie would own or something like that i really like the packaging like my inner child is screaming oh that smells so good it smells like vanilla to me and just sweetness berries oh, it smells so good it's definitely not the loudest fragrance in the room it's kind of like a sweet almost like a skin scent it's kind of a mixture of berries and vanilla in a really good way and then also kind of like an ambery feel with the woody touch and that's kind of how i would describe this so this one has just kind of like a straight line of notes there's no top middle or base there's vanilla jasmine red berries amber and woodsy notes in here and actually one of the perfumes that this is compared to is thank you next by ariana grande which i personally don't get the comparison at all because thank you next to me is way more tropical it has that coconut and it has like that pickle kind of scent that everybody kind of knows. I feel like that scent is so famous for that pickle type of scent. This one does not have it. This is all about the vanilla for me and a little bit of the berries. On Fragrantica, it, it does also say that it is similar to Valentino Donna Aqua. And I've never smelled that, but considering how much I love Valentino Donna Born in Roma, I would guess that that's a really good scent. And actually when I bought this, that was kind of the selling factor for me because I felt like if it was compared to that, it would probably be really good. And I really, really love this. Like I said, it's nothing groundbreaking. Like I'm not gonna sit here and tell you this is the most amazing, unique perfume I've ever had, but this is a perfume that you're, you're gonna wear and you're gonna get a million and one compliments because it's that type of like compliment getter, mass appealing scent that just smells sweet and girly and just really, really pretty. This is kind of one of those scents where I can put in like my bathroom, my handbag and just respray all the time and just smell amazing. So that is Dream Angel by Victoria's Secret. So the next perfume I have talked about in actually like a couple of my videos, but they weren't hauls. Like I've never actually included this in a haul, so I thought I would include it in this video even though I have talked about this. This is Calvin Klein Women and it looks like this. It's a really interesting bottle. It has like this eye at the top. The whole cap is huge. Like the whole cap is this whole thing. Like it's, it's pretty big. I feel like kind of an annoying fragrance to travel with if you're gonna take this with you, but they do have a little travel size and I do keep that in my bag. So I, it doesn't really bother me because I have that in my bag. But yeah, kind of an oddly shaped bottle. But what I've kind of realized is that I love Calvin Klein perfumes and I don't care what anybody says. I have yet to come across a Calvin Klein perfume that I don't like. And I think I've tried at like at least six in the past five months or so and every single one of them has just been 
amazing and this one is no different to that. So believe it or not, I actually ordered this online because I could not find this anywhere. This does have an eau de toilette as well. This is the Eau de Parfum and the Eau de Toilette was available in a lot of stores but the Eau de Parfum for some reason wasn't so I had to go the online route and you know for me that that's like that that's how you know I really wanted this perfume because I just don't shop online but this is such an amazing scent. It smells so good. I have included this in a video where I kind of compared it to uh, Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue because it really does remind me of it. It's like that same really really a citrusy lemony type of scent it's really zesty but this one is kind of like the more feminine version of light blue i find light blue to be a little bit more like on the unisex side because it's so crisp and so so fresh this one has like a touch like just a little touch of sweetness in it this one has top notes of grapefruit eucalyptus bergamot lemon and black pepper so again you start off with like a bunch of citrus notes, middle notes of orange blossom, tea, magnolia, jasmine, hedion, raspberry, and base notes of cedar, umbroxan, white musk, cashmere, olibanum, and violet. I love the base of this perfume because it's so woody and it does also have like this musky aspect but in a really really good crisp clean way and that umbroxan i also really love because umbroxan is i've explained it a million times but it's a molecule and it reacts differently to different people and i feel like from all the perfumes that i've tried that have umbroxan in them it's a note that does really well with my chemistry i feel like so i think that's part of the reason why i really enjoy this but yeah it's really really good there's like this is a phenomenal scent and i think it's a really attractive scent there's something about this every time I've worn it, I've gotten a million and one compliments. Like, it's a really, really striking perfume and it's unique enough to where people are going to be like, that smells really good. Like, scent that I've never smelled before, but it smells really good. So, that is Calvin Klein Winter. Okay, so the last two scents are the scents that I did not personally purchase. Um, these were sent to me, but like I said, I wasn't told to make a video on these. They were just sent to me, um, and I'm going to share them with you guys and share with you my opinion on them. So, the first one is by Skylar. That they sent me this amazing package. Skylar always sends me packages. I did a sponsored video with them. A while back and they've been so amazing to me they always send me packages of their new scents and they recently sent me this one of their brand new scent that they just released which is called honeysuckle dream I was kind of scared when this came to me because I'm not the biggest fan of honeysuckle and the packaging says sweet like honey a honeysuckle to me is like an overly floral type of scent so when I received this I was kind of like I don't know if I'm gonna like that like I felt like this would be something that my mom would really love because she loves these types of scents but I was pleasantly surprised when I actually smelled this because I do not mind this this smells so good it smells like springtime and I think part of the reason why I really love this is because this reminds me of my home it reminds me of Albania it reminds me of growing up it reminds me of like all the trees when they would bloom in the springtime they would all smell like this and it's just like bringing me back and I'm loving it. This is a perfect springtime scent, which I think is why they released it. They released it in the spring. The top notes in here are bergamot, sparkling cassis, and pear leaves. Middle notes of honeysuckle, lily, orange flower, and base notes of cashmere wood, sandalwood, and sheer amber. You do get honeysuckle in here, but you don't just get honeysuckle. You get a bunch of really amazing notes that really stand out in here like the pear leaves it really gives me like a fruity nice fruity vibe oh my god it reminds me of home i swear i could smell this 24 7 and it just puts me in like a happy mood because it just creates like this nostalgia for me it's slightly woody in the base but those florals really do stand out in here but for some reason i'm really liking it and i'm not usually the type of person to like a scent like this this is the most feminine like soft feminine scent ever like i imagine like a goddess wearing this like an earth goddess or something there's something sweet about it it is 
a lot of florals, but it's like sweet florals, basically sweet like honey. It's actually really funny that I said that this reminds me of like home when the trees were like just blooming in the springtime because that's exactly how they describe this. Their description of this is the unforgettable moment when you walk by new blooms on your morning stroll when the fresh aromas are impossible to ignore. It's the perfect opportunity to marvel at nature's blossoming florals and dream about the possibilities that lie ahead. A fragrance inspired by beautiful spring mornings, notes of honeysuckle bring a sweetness to the quintessential aromas of this season while uplifting pear leaves and refreshing orange flower water softly brighten this fragrance to awaken your optimistic spirit. I didn't even read that description, but that's exactly what it smells like. It smells like you're walking by new blooms on your morning stroll. I don't know how they've captured that, but that's what this smells like. It smells so incredibly beautifully feminine. And Skylar is a clean, safe, uh, vegan perfume brand and you can find this brand on Sephora either in the store or online or obviously on their own website But yeah, I'm really really loving this. It's a really pretty scent for the springtime And then the last perfume that was also sent to me. This is by Michael Malul and this is called Nightfall So it comes in a little box like this which actually looks pretty like bougie it looks really nice and the perfume itself comes with this little card and i really love it because one thing about me that i don't think i've ever shared but i love lights like city lights everybody that in my life that knows me knows this but it's always been my dream to live in like a high rise and to just like sit by the windows and just look at all the buildings and all the little lights at night it's so relaxing to me and this card is exactly that and I love it. And on the back, you get a little bit of a description to the scent and here it is. So I really love the presentation and everything of this. And this scent is so, so good. It definitely smells like like nighttime, like you've just gotten ready for like a really nice night out with your friends. Maybe you're going clubbing, maybe you're going to a nice dinner or whatever and you're just in the city. It definitely smells like, like a city type of scent. Oh my God. It smells so good. There's something in this that reminds me a little bit of Jean-Paul Gaultier um, Scandal. And then also a little bit of Montal Intense Cafe, like slightly. I feel like it's almost like a mixture of those two. So based off of those descriptions, this is a really sweet scent. It's not headache inducing or anything like that. It's done in a really sexy way. And I think this is a really intimate scent. Like it just smells really, really seductive and sensual and just nighttime. The top notes in here are pink pepper, apricot, bergamot, middle notes of orange blossom, jasmine, tuberose, and base notes of patchouli, vanilla, and moss. It's a really like mysterious scent. It's a perfect date night perfume. Like if you're going on a first date or a date with your boyfriend, your husband, whoever, like it's a date type of of scent because I think that anybody that you're with would be like mesmerized by this scent it just has a really captivating quality about it I love dark mysterious sexy perfumes like this it's probably like my favorite types of perfumes ever and I love this like it just it smells so freaking good I do think the most prominent part of this is that vanilla. I really do get a lot of sweetness in it and I do get a bit of that orange blossom. I get a bit of that apricot, like it's really sweet. The patchouli, I'm not really getting an in like a heavy dose in here, but this is a long lasting scent. I have worn this a couple times and it's one of those scents that really sticks to you. So I think it's a really good uh, scent performance wise and just scent wise as well so that is nightfall by michael Malou. all right so that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed these perfumes let me know if you've tried out any of these and what you think of them and before you click out of this video please make sure that you leave me in the comments about what i said in the beginning of this video about my perfume collection please let me know which kind of format you want me to do i'll try to take some of those into consideration and maybe do what the majority of you guys kind of want so definitely let me know i'm really interested to read the comments and kind of um, get an idea of what you guys would want. But that is it for me today. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not already and turn your post notifications on and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.